Formula E is built around batteries. They literally make the cars go faster and for longer. So the better the battery, the better the performance of the car that's using it. We're here with the Renault EDAMS team to try and understand a little bit more about how you can improve on an already pretty good thing. So this battery was really pushing the boundaries of the technology when it was designed for season one of Formula E. But for season five, we've got something brand new coming, haven't we? We will uh, uh, double the uh, energy for similar weight and volume. We will have only a single car for the whole races, uh, still around 45 minutes. And as well, we'll increase the power level from 170 kilowatt at race condition to 200 kilowatts. So the car will be much faster with a single battery for the race. So it's a major step. The 250 kilowatt discharge speed of the new McLaren battery is something like the equivalent of watching tens of thousands of YouTube videos simultaneously on your phone. And it's a quarter as much power again as the current battery has. Batteries have made huge leaps in energy storage density over the last 150 years, meaning they've got lighter and smaller whilst able to do a whole lot more. You've only got to really look at your mobile phone battery and compare it to one of 30 years ago to prove that. But better can mean a whole lot of different things, so there's compromises involved and lots of different trade-offs when you're designing one of these things. Theo, tell us about the composition of the cells inside these batteries and why they're so important. So we're using lithium-ion cells uh, from Ixult. They are uh, called NMC, so nickel, cobalt and manganese. So all of these elements bring different things then to the, the composition of the cell and its properties. It must be a trade-off. There are trade-offs between power and energy, and with Formula E we are right in the middle where you want a powerful car but still yeah. able to have a reasonable range. And so what about the wider world? What about outside of, of Formula E? Where do you think development is going? Everybody wants more range, more power, and the, the cell suppliers are working on developing manufacturing technique and new chemistry to improve that. You're really looking at improving the density, both in terms of mass density and volumetric density. And so, so you're talking about storing more energy yes, for a given weight or size? For a given weight or a given volume. Within the past 10 years, we doubled the range of the vehicle, and I think the same is about to come in the next 10-15 uh, years, no doubt. So it's the crucial chemistry of batteries which is the biggest area of development and perhaps the single biggest factor helping to drive us forward both here at Formula E and also out there on the roads.